Hello and welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. This video is going to show you the steps to install MariaDB server on Ubuntu hosted on Azure. So by clicking the link in the description box, you will be taken to this marketplace listing on the Azure marketplace which is of MariaDB server. From here you want to create a new Azure virtual machine. So for that simply click on this button that says get it now. And then click on continue. Now this should take you to a page where you can set up your virtual machine. From this page you need to click on create. And then on this page you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have. Choose or create a new resource group. I am going to go with an existing one. And give a name to the virtual machine. So I am going to call it MariaDB server. And then you can specify the region where you want this virtual machine to be deployed. I am going to go with the default one which is East Asia which is the closest region to me. And then if you scroll down you can see that the image selected is MariaDB server on Ubuntu which is generation 1. And for the size I am going to go with the default one but make sure to change the size according to your needs. For the authentication type you can go with the SSH public key or you can even go with the password protected key. But I am going to go with the SSH public key. And for the username I am going to go with CIS. Then you have to click review and create. And then you need to wait for the validation to complete. Once the validation passes you can simply click on create to actually create that virtual machine in the region that you have selected. But before that it prompts you to download the private key and create the resource. So download the private key because this is the key that you would be using to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. And then you simply need to wait for the deployment to complete. Once the deployment is complete, you can click on go to resource and then you can connect to the SSH terminal by pressing on connect and choosing SSH. From this page you are going to copy this command and you are going to open up a new PowerShell and you are going to paste that command inside here. And then you are going to replace the private key path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. So I am going to replace this path for the path where I have downloaded my private key and I am going to hit on enter. So then it is going to ask you if I want to continue to connecting to this particular IP address. So I am going to type in yes and hit enter once more. So now you need to wait for a few moments for this terminal to connect to the virtual machine's SSH terminal. Now as you can see that I am currently logged into the SSH terminal of my virtual machine. So now I want to configure my MariaDB server. So for that I am going to use the command sudo space mysql underscore secure underscore installation. And then I'm going to hit enter. And then it is asking us for the current password for the root. And the password for root is currently blank. So I'm going to simply hit enter. And then I can customize my MariaDB configuration according to my needs. So make sure to go with the configuration that you want. So I'm quickly going to go over this configuration. And it even asks you if I want to change my password. So it's totally up to you how you want to configure your MariaDB server. Once you're done with the configuration of MariaDB, you can open up its shell by typing in the command sudo space mysql. As you can see now I'm logged into my MariaDB shell. Now there is a link in the description box which will take you to this particular blog post which is a step by step guide on how to set up MariaDB Ubuntu on Azure, AWS and GCP. So if I scroll down here, you can see that there is a command on how to create a database in MariaDB. So I'm going to copy that command, come back to my PowerShell and type that command in. Similarly, there is also a command to show all the databases. So go back to my PowerShell, paste the command and hit enter. So as you can see that in the above command, I've created a database called MariaDB cloud. And when I tried to show all the databases to the terminal, I was able to see the database that I just created, which was MariaDB cloud. So this means that our MariaDB server has been successfully set up on Ubuntu hosted on Azure. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial then make sure to leave the query in the comment box and if this video has helped you in any way then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. And lastly make sure to check the listing of the Azure Marketplace from the link in the description box and to check the step by step guide on our website from the link in the description box.